What's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to a little bit more of a, of a different video. I uh, wanted to make a video on futures trading, all right? Futures trading on, on crypto specifically. Uh, a lot of you asked for it in, in the Selenix Crypto community, the Discord, which you can join down in the description. There's the link. Uh, so in this video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk a little bit about future trading in crypto and how to how, how to do it, just the basics. And if you have any questions, just let me know either uh, in the comments here or on Discord, because I'll probably make a, make a, a different channel for this uh, in Discord. But yeah, I just wanted to go over it because if some of you were, were stuck with, with how does it work and what does everything mean and what should I think about in, in terms of risk management um, and, and different types of trading and, and what's best and what should I do. Uh, so first of all, check out Bing X. Bing X is one of the two platforms I use. I use Bybit and Bing X. Um, both have links down in the description which allow you to sign up right now. And if you sign up through the link, you'll actually get 10% off of transaction costs on Bing X. And right now, because I'm, I'm in a partnership with Bing, Bing X as well, um, you get a $20 bonus for free on your account. Um, so definitely do that right now. Um, and, and Bing X is also the site where I'll, I'll do the tutorial for now. So first, or, all right, no, let, let, let's cut back a little bit first. Um, futures trading is not for everybody, all right? If you're in it to, to get rich quickly, you probably won't, all right? There, there's maybe like 0.1% who do. Uh, but you probably want trading and, and futures trading but trading in general is something you should treat like a full-time job or at least part-time but then you shouldn't trade too much right um, and first I, I would advise you to learn about it learn about all the indicators learn about different strategies learn about cryptos and just do some paper trading so trading without real money um, and then i mean it, so it's it's not for everybody and it's it's what I'm what I'm teaching you and, and the way I have always traded is, is quite not conservative but realistic, right? So you cannot, of, of course, you can get lucky with a trade and earn 100%, so double your money. But you can also be, be be lucky betting on a football team, right, and and, and earn double your money. So you should you should really take it seriously if you want to do it. You should really spend a lot of hours a day on it. Otherwise, I just wouldn't do it, or I would stick to betting or blackjack. So let's get right into it. That's all I wanted to say. Let's get right into it. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, on most exchanges, you have standard futures and perpetual futures. We'll, we'll be talking about perpetual futures. Perpetual means that they are futures for an indefinite time. Standard futures are just like you say, you, you, you take a long position in a Bitcoin, uh, in, in Bitcoin with a standard future, then it has an, an ending time. So for example, tomorrow, uh, then tomorrow at that time your your position ends and if you said it was going up and it actually went up you earn money and if it went down you 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 lose money so we'll talk about perpetual futures um on, on if, if it looks other if it looks different on your exchange just let me know and I'll, I'll translate it for you what it means because most exchanges also have perpetual and then usdt or perpetual btc that's basically uh, the token that you use as margin all right, because with perpetual futures, you actually use leverage. So you have capital of your own and you actually use capital of other people, which is the margin you use um, to, to be able to increase the risk, but also increase the reward. All right, so let's get it right into it. If you click perpetual futures, first thing you see is the pair will be opening a trade on Bitcoin, will really be opening a trade. I put, I put some mo more money or I put some money in this new account. So actually open a trade. So first thing you see is the pair. You can see on Bing X, they have a lot of pairs as well. All the pairs you want to trade. Funding rate doesn't matter. That's that's for if you're a little bit further down the line. Order book, I wouldn't look too much at the order book. Um, if I could, I would actually get rid of this, but I can't, or at least I don't know yet how. Um, and then what you'll see is this. And this all looks very difficult probably in the beginning, but we'll go over all of it, all right? Uh, and hopefully I don't miss anything. First, you have cross margin or isolated margin. Uh, so as I said, we use leverage. So for example, if you want to trade with $50 on Bing X, you can actually use leverage up to 125 times. So for example, if you use, use 100 times leverage with $50, you can trade with $5,000. But let's say that that $5,000 uh, $5, position drops down 1% in price, which is 50, then you'll lose your whole, whole account, right? So as I said, it increases risk, increases reward. Um, so I would always pick cross margin. 
isolated this is basically that it just reserves a piece of your capital for a specific position it doesn't matter not a lot of people use it i would use cross margin then you can use your you can change your leverage as i said Bing X allows you to use up to 125%, which increases the risk by a lot and the reward by a lot. I usually stay around 25, 20, 15, all right? But you can play with that and, and you can kind of see what you like. We'll put it on 20 for now. So either for, for long orders and short orders. Long is basically that you say the price is going up, so you win if the price goes up. Short is you say the price goes down, so you make money if the price goes down. So now, we have that put in order. You have limit orders, market orders, and trigger orders. We'll not be talking about trigger orders. Market order is basically that if you buy a, a, a few Bitcoins, you'll buy it at the market price. So what we have now, limit order, you can put in a price such as 19,000 and say you want, to, uh, you want the order to start if we hit 19,000. Trigger orders, I could explain that in, in another video. Let me know if you'd be interested in that, but I, I don't think that's necessary for a, a beginner's guide. Um, so I'll try to speed it up a little bit. You have 19,000. So for example, you want to open a position. We don't have any positions yet, so we cannot close any. You want to open a position on a limit order. I would always, I would say limit order is the best order to, to do so because that allows you to, to do your analysis on the crypto. You can analyze a, a specific price area where you think the price is going up, then you go long, or a specific price area where you think the price is going down, then you would sell short. And you can put in that, that number. So what you wanna do then, you can either uh, put the position size or the value. I would always do value because you know how much USDT you have, and you want to enter, for example, the value of, of 100. Right, so, so with a 20 leverage, you want a, a 100 valuation of your position. So your position is worth $100. And then, and this is very important to realize, all right, this, this might be the most important thing to, to do in this analysis. You just want to put something in here at first, all right? doesn't matter what, because then you put on the TPSL, which is take profit or stop loss. So then you can actually uh, put a level for your position where you actually want to take profits, such as, the entry price right now is 19,000. So that's the entry. If it then, if we go down there, the position opens. If we get up to 19,250, that would be our take profits and the position closes automatically and you've made a profit. But you also need a stop loss. You always need a stop loss. Otherwise you, your whole account can get wiped out and you don't want that. You don't want your whole account to be on the line for one specific trade, right? So you put a stop loss, for example, at 18,800. So if, if the price drops down to 18,800, your stop loss is hit and you will take a loss, but at least you still have capital left. You won't get li liquidated. And now you adjust the value, all right? Because you typically want to aim for a risk of one to 5% of your entire account. And right now you can see that with this stop loss, you would lose $1, which from my account would be 1%. I want to risk, let's say I want to risk 2%, all right? So then this will be two US dollar. What you do is then you adjust the value, all right? So you adjust the value based on your stop loss and you set your stop loss and take profit based on your analysis, all right? So then we put this to 200. So then when I lose, um, so what my risk is, is $2, which is almost 2%. Um, and then you can actually, I mean, this is a perfect trade or, or it might not be a good one, but this is how you set a trade. So you first, you have to fill something in here. Otherwise you couldn't, uh, uh, couldn't uh, set, set your TP and your SL, but you first set your take profit, stop loss and entry price. So you, you plan your trade, and you trade your plan. Um, and then you adjust the value uh, according to your risk management. So for example, if I want to risk 5% of my entire account, which is quite high on one trade, I would uh, change the value to 500. Then you can see, and you kind of uh, can kind of play with that. I would lose $5 if I lose. So that's my risk. I would win $6.5 if I win. So that's a, a positive risk to reward ratio, but I wanted to keep it for, for beginners. So now, for example, if you have this and you want to buy long, you, you, you press that, the order is submitted. Now it's an open order. You can see that on, on the price and not, or, or on the charts. And if the price actually drops down to that level, you will be in a position. 
if we then go up to 19,250, where our top take profit is, we'll win some money. If we drop down to 18,800, we'll lose. And um, so yeah, that's a quick guide. It was a little bit longer than I expected, but a quick guide on futures trading. Um, I will probably make more videos on this. So, so let me know what I should make videos on regarding futures trading or regarding crypto in general. For now, this is a quick futures perpetual futures trading guide. Uh, so thank you for watching. Take care and bye.